Deke has some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. Nice. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned. The one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well. Which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Then we actually uh, also change the quest. Which we are on. So now we actually check check how this works. Now it started to lo at least load. A blockade. Hogwarts poachers are already here. Destroy that one. It's a support. Let's not bring the whole cave down. Sure, it'll be harder to kill a monster. And bring it. I know all about you and your vice street. It's very obvious. You! What do you think you're doing? What? Merlin's name! The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Poachers? How many are there? It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. I hope you have your affairs in order. Totalis. 
Level 3. Okay, I don't have that. again. I suppose I have pretty pretty good equipment at this point. Un unless you count the talents, I don't have that many talents for the for the cloaks and Hello. stuff. It's help. I can take you somewhere safe. Get you back to the room. It, it wanted Deep's going to, to be pleased. It wanted to be rescued, rescued apparently, so that's why. Really, I really don't remember the lore of the Phoenix uh, in in in, in, in um, Harry Potter books, so. I should investigate. Oh no. Let's change the spell. Start to throw away cabbages. Can bring up. Revelio. Akio. Can bring up. Also, Arresto Momentum, Depulso, Arresto Momentum. Dangerous if I'm not careful. Okay, so this is a chess game. This is our king, I believe. No, it's not. I think these are soldiers.
Revelio. The thing is that I have been using this transformation only to make pe people as a battle, so it's like it didn't come to me that at, at first that I could actually use this transformation, some, something else. So if it's a rook, I yeah, know bishop, bishop. I mean, yes, they are diagonally. I wasn't sure what uh, chess piece. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Gryffindor, over here! Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the a castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... Thank you. <laughs> I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> get ready to lose, Gryffindor. Let's see what happens. You'll have to do better than that if you want to top my time. This course is all about testing your ability to focus. Each turn requires a decision. Make one, then commit to it. Imelda Rays, are you giving the competition advice? Huh. I wouldn't call it that, no. Just chatter between friends. That's all. <sighs> now, care to try again? I'm ready. Thank you, Imelda. Of course. Get out there! <laughs> so I should use the, use the bulls actually. Made it! <laughs> and not to miss the rings. Like this. Ah. Say so myself. <laughs> now that's more like it.
that wasn't too difficult. Brilliant. Going wild. Oh, oh! Bit too much force. <laughs> Under the bridge, just boost ball, ball, balls. Yellow balls. I didn't miss it. Last time I did miss it. work today but don't get too comfortable I'll be on your heels in no time my family's not going to believe the news when I tell them they're almost as competitive as I am almost <laughs> do you get your competitiveness from your family you could say that my grandfather played Quidditch for Puzzlemere United and my father well he was a chaser for Slytherin but had to stop after a curse took his knees out uh -huh. said it was the Gryffindor beater and me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. <laughs> Don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen... You might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. <laughs> Not bad. For a Gryffindor. Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. Yep. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you... <laughs> Expelliarmus. Lumos. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Of course. I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Well, Copeland's time. kind of uh, that for what? here, so... I've learned more about the relic. I cross reference Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. Okay. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. 
So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice. Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Uh. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well, from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, uh, I, I I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Yeah, kind of. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. Area horse. Okay, different kind of controls, but I think we can manage. Hello, uh, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? Uh huh. I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Especially Splendid. in the middle of, middle of Precisely the Precisely the response winter. I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm okay. so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. Never heard. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Uh -huh. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. Mm. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. But 
it's shallow. This must be where the Pink Smedley family astrolabe is. I don't have a potion. Cloak. School uniform. Mm. People throw lots of things in that lake. That's that's one thing that people were surprised that you can actually swim in this game. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Can I? I can actually mod the broom from the lake. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? For a prize. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Uh -huh. Okay, so this wasn't Thank really, you uh, again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Let's go! What do you have in store for me this time? I should investigate. Oh, how I love a good puzzle. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again, I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Twiddle. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle. Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumors surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Where can I find this statue? It's not far from Irondale. It's down by the shore, near those old ruins. You can't miss it. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Yeah, I should the look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Merlin trial would be like shooting things. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Rebellion! Rebellion! Rebellion. 
Revelio. That's Revelio. three, but there should be like more of those. <laughs> Revelio. Maybe I missed some. Ah, uh, there's something up up there, which I didn't see for some reason. would be proud. I don't think so. So, fiddle statue. That's over there. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Revelio. Why are there so many vases around here? I suppose I should try to find all the vases. Revelio. I don't know if it's like special if you just need to break everything. I think there should only be a few more vines. Revelio. Finished. One more vase. Revelio. That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. Okay. So... We just need to break the voyage. And I think I have seen similar statues all over, so this might be like one of those. Overland Looks quests. rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. <laughs> point Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I had Hello. to destroy a number of large Anyways. vases and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Yeah. Well, done. gamer instinct, oh, destroy everything. Someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, my husband uh, would be quick so break. pleased to know he was right about that statue.
Alrighty then. So, how's Skahaya doing? Played anything recently? Absolutely shameless. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? Is the worst. I, I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Uh -huh. Good witness, I said. Never thought she'd return Good. the steal from me. But us, but I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. What exactly was the family heirloom that the thief stole? A necklace belonged to the <laughs> first life of the Haggerty women. Hundreds of okay. years old. So much history. She'll likely pawn it. Why would Katrin come back to rob the Hamlet if she'd already left? Do I look like a criminal to you? Yes. How should I know? She always despised this place. Resented having to grow up here. Perhaps she did it to spite us. Are you sure Katrin is the culprit? It could be anyone. Thanks to that Rookwood louse, we're inundated with all manner of criminal. I wanted to believe it was any one of them except Katrin. But she was the only one who knew where the heirloom was hidden, and she knew precisely which homes to rob. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? <laughs> Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Except singer Besides, is, isn't the doing thief, anything for My this. sister only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. What do you have for sale? Well, could I keep an eye on your belongings if I were you? Clattering or steal the eyebrows off your... I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty once night falls. Thank you for your patronage. Right, that's a 700. Well, I, I think I, I'll manage. Uh, it's, it's not like we have just one animal that's going to do those. The feathers, so it's like pretty... Glad you were able Rare. to stop by. Thief of the night. Return to scene in Irondale at night. So let's jump ahead. Wait. Now that it's night, I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty. Revelio. A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. Hello. It's good to see you, my friend. If it wasn't for the... See, the thief went up, up hill. Let's take these takes here. Revelio. Very spotty <laughs> thief. Dropping everything. More gold. I must be getting closer. Okay. One less follower, Ranrock. Revelio. Control three. Nice. So yeah, you are, you are getting. Uh, we are getting those. 
crates for the armor and from, from the bandit camps. I should actually do these more. So this is part of the Melrin trial, okay. But where's the Revelio. Where's the thief? Went to this way. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Then went down here, so didn't stay at the camp for some reason. That's a huge load of gold. Oops. Yes, you can actually die in this game. Rebellion. Fall too far. Um, okay. Fall into breadcrumbs. Maybe game designers little overdid this quest. This looks intriguing. Revelio. Okay, second burning trial. Lots of stuff <laughs> laying around. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Okay. I kind of lost the trail around here. So I wonder where the thief is. Revelio. And down, downhill. Then turn north or uphill, rather. And um, mm -hmm. an intruder. Rebellion. Niffler. It wasn't capturing Haggerty after all. <laughs> Niffler, Nifflers. Lair. Okay. What do we do with the uh, Niffler that it's actually... I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the if thief the was a niffler. Is niffler. A, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose, mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. I'm sorry, Mr. Haggerty. I, I wish I could say that I had. It was too much to hope for anyway. Uh, I appreciate what you did uncover. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. Glad I'll be able to look my neighbors in the eye now. Pity about that heirloom. Hitler mask. <laughs> 